Okay, today I want to talk about the rivers and the drainage of basins. I've got a funny voice, I don't know why, but it's because it's a Saturday morning and I'm tired, I think. So, rivers and drainage basins. We want to talk about that, a drainage basin. You've probably heard the word drainage before and you thought of a drainage pipe. This is not about pipes. It's about rivers that drain. They drain? Yes, they drain somewhere. Actually, where do they ultimately drain to? Hmm, let me think. That's right, they drain into the ocean. Yes, they eventually drain into the ocean. So we're going to watch how they drain into the ocean and talk about the bisons. Bison sounds like a bowl. Okay, well, it's not a bowl. It's a basin. Okay. <laughs> I must have had too much pancakes this morning. Okay. All right, let's move on and talk about the parts of a river. Turns out there are three parts to the river. That's right, three parts, people. One is called a tributary system. Two is called the trunk system. Now, don't confuse that with an elephant's trunk. That doesn't look like a bad elephant. Mr. Bergman, you're pretty good with that elephant. Woo! The feet are a little weird. Okay, and third, it's the distributory system. So let's learn about these three parts of the river. Let's talk about the tributary system. Okay, what is that? Now, that's a group of streams that contribute water to another system. Hmm. Okay, so this is really the small streams that feed larger streams. That's really ultimately what that is. Another way to look at it is it's typically found in mountainous regions. So here in Woodland Park, Colorado, we live in the montañas, right? And when we live in the mountains, what kind of streams do we find here? Well, they're all tributary uh, streams, aren't they? They're also, <coughs> it's, it's just talking funny, they're also called an affluent. So a tributary system is also called an affluent. So just a different name for the same thing. And it does not flow directly into a sea, ocean, or lake. So basically, a river that flows into another river is called a tributary river, okay? And, uh, or a stream, or a creek, or whatever, right? Okay. Secondly, I want to um, just take you through uh, where we live. Here we live um, in Woodland Park, of course, and let's look at the tributaries of the South Platte River. We're going to go to Google Maps here, so let's do just that. So here we are in Woodland Park, Colorado, right? And um, we're going to just kind of look to the north of us. All right, this little town of West Creek, some of you might even live in West Creek, and basically there is a river, there's a river that runs through it. Isn't there a movie like that? All right, there's a river that runs down through here, along Highway 67, those of you who know your math here, or your maps, and then it keeps on going, this river does. Oh, where does it go to? Oh, let's zoom in. Jump in that further. Here's a little town called Deckers. This is Highway 67, and the river keeps going through here. There's a reservoir right here, and this reservoir feeds down here. So guess what? These are all tributaries. This river and this river feeds into this river, and this river keeps on going north, okay? And it's called the South Platte River, okay? And here it comes uh, further. The South Platte River then comes through here, through what's called Roxboro State Park. We're headed towards Denver right here. Um, Ken Carl, this Chatfield Lake. It keeps on going, hits this uh, big reservoir called Chatfield Lake or Reservoir. I used to ride my bike around that all the time when I lived in Denver. And then this travels further and further. Oh, and I think we should zoom in. Here we are. Um, uh, this was it right here. And then it makes its way out through Denver. I'm not sure I'm doing the exact path of it, but it's like that. And you see each of these rivers, but there'd be a river here that would feed into here. And frankly, folks, there's going to be rivers here. This is going to feed into the South Platte River. This lake itself probably feeds into here in some fashion. I don't know where the actual uh, lines of the rivers are, but each of these are tributaries to the South Platte River. In fact, this is what's called Cherry Creek Reservoir. It meets about right here. And so each of these are tributaries to this river right here, which I'm, that's the South Platte River. And the South Platte River eventually flows into the Missouri River, which eventually flows into the Mississippi River, which eventually flows into the Gulf of Mexico in Louisiana. So interesting thing is that water that started in Woodland Park is someday going to make it to Louisiana. That's right. All right, a word we need to define, uh, they called the confluence. The confluence is where two rivers meet. All right, the point where a tributary joins a more major river. This is the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon. So the Colorado River comes through here. Woo! And then we have another smaller river that's joining it here. And to this point where they have a, 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 a meeting, they have a meeting. That's what they call the confluence. In fact, let's go back a page here. 
down to there. And let me tell you, I used to ride my bike. I used to live about right, where did I used to live? There's, yeah, I used to live right there. No, actually right here. And I would ride my bicycle down actually through this creek and right here, where this river, um, the, the, the bike path, was, turns out, was right along the river, um, this is called Confluence Park, huh? because that's where the Cherry Creek, the uh, Creek, Cherry Creek, this is called Cherry Creek right here, met the South Platte River, and they called it Confluence Park. That little park there, and people would go kayaking there, and it was a really cool place. So, Confluence. All right. The second thing is not the a uh, tributary, but a trunk stream. The stream with a trunk. And we're not talking about a trunk that you pack your bags in. No, it's a trunk. Okay, what kind of a trunk am I talking about? Well, it's a major river. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Too much pancakes, I'm telling you. Major river fed by a number of fairly large tributaries in the main stream, or uh, the main stream in a river system. So this actually is uh, the Missouri. This right here is the Missouri M O U S U R I probably butchered that name. That's still the Missouri River system right there, and we are part of the Missouri River system here in the South Platte. Let's kind of zoom in on that. And so here's Woodland Park, actually right here at the edge, and we'll talk about how that's kind of a special spot that we live in. And you can see the Missouri River right through here. You look, do 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 do. And the Missouri River eventually meets the Mississippi River. This right here is the Mississippi River here. Missy. And um, and the South Platte River that we were just tracing here it goes through hits and now out of Colorado and it goes into Nebraska and Nebraska eventually it meets up with the Missouri River right here, but this is called a trunk stream. So the South Platte right here is considered a trunk stream, but a bigger trunk is the Missouri River, M A S O U R I I or whatever you call that, and of course the biggest trunk in the United States is the Mississippi River. All right, we can look at this in a different river system. That would be the Amazon River. Now, the Amazon River is the main trunk, of course, the main river. It is the largest river by volume of any river in the world. There's more water flowing through the Amazon River than any other river. Uh, but then each, each of these, uh, these are big trunk streams, the Shuara here that feeds into um, the Puras. I'm probably mispronouncing these. The Negro, the Putumayo, etc. And these would each also have uh, tributaries that would feed them. They would come off here and they have confluences and etc. And these would all have uh, this map of only is only showing the uh, trunk streams, right? And so, but they would each have uh, uh, little tributaries of some variety. Okay. Now the last um, part of a river is called the distributory system. Now this is a little confusing. Now we've talked about we're going to the end of the river where the river meets essentially the ocean or maybe a large lake. Okay, it is the outflowing branch of a river, such as what occurs characteristically on a delta. Now, we haven't defined delta. That'll be next. But this is the delta, or the, the distributory system, of the Mississippi River. All right? So the water that leaves Woodland Park is going to eventually make it here, okay, if it doesn't get drank by an animal or whatever. Now, the question is, at this stage, or even at this stage right here, where is the end of the Mississippi River? You see, some of it goes here. And this stuff right here, this sort of, uh, is not land, this is sediment right here. And we talked about sediment. All that sediment gets flowed. And then it goes here, back out to the Gulf of Mexico, and it goes here to the Gulf of Mexico, and here, and here. So where is the official edge of the Mississippi River? Where is the opening? And the answer is, is oftentimes in many rivers, there is not a specific opening. There are many openings, and that's called the distributory system, where it distributes out its sediment. Because it usually is a very flat place of the world, and it's very flat. As, as it is down in Louisiana, and it just it just tries to find the ocean as fast as it can, and there's lots of ways to get there. Okay, that leads us to what's called a delta. Now, a delta is a landform that is created at the mouth of a river, where that river flows into an ocean, a sea, an estuary, a lake, a reservoir, a flat arid area, which means it, like a dead or desert, or another river. Deltas are formed from the deposition of the sediment carried by the river as the flow leaves the mouth of the river. Now that's a lot of words and I know you have to copy it down and push pause. Oh well. So push pause. 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 Okay, you pause the button. P-A-U-S-E. I can spell. Okay. <laughs> now let's take a look at the Nile River Delta. The biggest, longest river in the world, of course. Here is the Nile River. Um, and interestingly enough, where does the water go? The answer is here or here or here it has lots of options you can kind of see the river here but this whole area is just filled with sediment and it 
takes the shape of a triangle. Does that look like a triangle to you, like this? And actually, the Greek letter delta, by the way, delta, the Greek letter delta is a triangle. So instead of having A's and B's and C's, they sometimes have shapes that we would recognize. And so this is the, um, yeah, so it looks like a delta. That's, that's the reason it's called that. So you would find that almost all rivers. And we, we saw that in the um, delta for, I'm going to go back here, to the Mississippi River. The triangle maybe isn't as predominant, but you can kind of see a triangle there, can't you?